today I'll be showing you a tutorial on how to add subs and dealing with a specific type of MKV files. And these MKV files are cannot be handled by a lot of MKV file viewers um, because it's been created in the wrong way. So we're gonna open Virtual Dub, and it has uh, the reason that these MKV files cannot be dealt with in Virtual Dub is because uh, they have uh, two subtitle streams. And in both subtitle streams, it's practically the same text and everything, but it's conflicting when it's opened with virtual dub. As you can see, it can only handle S text. So it's, the subtitles are being uh, generated, are trying to be generated by virtual dub, but it's, it, since the MKV file viewer in virtual dub is outdated, it's causing a confusion with, within virtual dub, causing errors. So. As we, as you know, we can't use virtual dub. So what we want to do is uh, download two uh, programs uh, that we're going to use to use to do this tutorial. And you don't need the first program, but if you have two subtitle streams, you want to remove one of the subtitle streams. And um, I, I prefer the VOP sub version as opposed to the text version, just the text version. So I'm going to search up MKV. Tool, tool X, and that's the program that that will remove the other subtitle stream. And basically, just download it from the mirror. I already have the file, so I'm just going to show you the link. I'm going kind of fast, but uh, it's way too easy to pause. Now, you want to search up another program called All Two AVI underscore three point zero point zero underscore R one underscore installer dot exe. Now, this program is uh, very hard to find. That's why you have to type in the name of the whole file. <coughs> and uh, if you couldn't <coughs> understand me too well, uh, please pause the video and search up the whole name. It's the easiest way to find this program. And if you search it up, it should be the first link on the list. And you want to go down, and you want to select R1. You don't want to get the latest version because I don't. I have never tried it. It might work better than the one I have already, but the one I have tried is the one you probably want to download for the video tutorial, and that's the one, the R1 and version three. And when you click the installer, it should start loading up another page that will lead you to the actual download file. And you want to download the installer file, and I already have it, so I won't, won't download it again. You want to download the installer file, and you'll get this file on desktop, and you'll get MKV Toolbox. You want to install both of those programs onto your computer, and then open MKV Toolbox and open MKV Merge GUI. That's the one that we are going to use to remove the double substream. So open the MKV file and remove the sub sub stream that you want and this is the substream that's con confusing virtual dub. as you see it's at the s underscore text substream this is the one I want to remove even after removing this it, this file will not be able to be opened with the virtual dub because again its mkv file viewer is outdated so either way I will not be able to open it by virtual dub, but I only want one substream so I'm going to remove the s underscore text substream and add the VOP substream. So I only want the VOP sub version because it looks better and it, it's less confusing to deal with. And once you've done this, you select where you want to file the file to output, and it's going to be output as an MKV file. And you want to click on Start Muxing. And once you click that, you should get the new file, which I named 01 in the extension. Uh, not a lot different, but that's the file you should get and that's the MKV file with only the VOP sub sub stream so now you wanna open all to AVI and I'd really like to thank the guy who developed this he truly made a great software now I'm gonna add the file um, the file is uh, should be somewhere on the desktop as soon as I can find it so that's on the file that's the file the MKV file open it and select where you want to output the file um, choose your bitrate I usually choose medium you can choose high it doesn't really matter but 
I'm choosing med medium for uploading purposes. And in the stream in, you want to select the zero for the English subtitle. And you actually you want, always want to select zero as that's the stream that you uh, you want the output video to show. And you want to sh show the audio stream as zero again. And H.264 is a, a an MKV convention kind of thing, and it's, it's pretty much like how MKV files are dealt with. I won't go into details of this, it's a very confusing topic and a lot of people have a hard time understanding. All you want to do is you want to click on this and you want to ignore that rule. Then you want to add this to, to the job, just click on that. And then finally, just click on execute job and you should get something like this. Don't be uh, surprised because this is how it, this is how the file is dealt with and that there's a percentage and that's the seconds that's being completed right now. It might take uh, quite some time, but it's a very efficient way to deal with these MKV files. Now, I've already done outputted the file before this tutorial, so I'm just going to show you the output AVI file after all the conversions have been done. And then there you go, the subtitles are showing and the video is showing fine. With sound. Um, so, now that that's working, we have to split this into three parts. And if you look at one of my other tutorials, um, it shows you how to split videos in three, into three parts using a virtual dub. And now that it's an AVI file, Virtual Dub should not have any problems in opening the new AVI file. So, um, thank you for paying attention during the vi uh, video tutorial. Hope to see you again next time.